Praise the Lord for His goodness. I hope you're enjoying the presence and the Spirit of the Lord. Want to do this quickly. Um, there's always a prayer vigil here at, at the television station, this location. Um, this one will be Saturday, April the 7th. We want to encourage you to be a part of the time. It's from 1030 to 230. Um, and uh, it's right here at WGGS TV 16. If you would like more information, you may call the station, 864-244-1616. And it's headed up by Pastor Bill and Neil Montgomery. Prayer. We believe in prayer. Uh, prayer turns the heart of God. And so we just want to encourage you to be a part of that. Um, let me read the scripture again. Romans 8, verses 1 and 2. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit, for the law of the Spirit in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. Amen. And just enjoying the Spirit and the presence of the Lord here tonight. I'm going to be talking here in just a moment to uh, Minister Darrell Dean. And uh, he is the author of a book, Self-Declaration, Volume 2, Declarations, Volume 2. He's going to have some good things to say tonight. And we're going to continue enjoying the presence of the Spirit of the Lord. It's, this is a great night. And we're, we're excited about what good things God is doing. Uh, I want to encourage you again to call in because we're, we're going to pray here in just a few minutes over all of these needs. I'm always amazed of all the response of people who call in with the prayer request and uh, looking for a miracle. I'm also always excited about those testimonies, how God has answered and things have turned around. Right now we're going back to appointed singing opposites. Just your average. 
Thank you so much for that song. Um, my guest now is Minister Darrell Dean. Uh, understand this man is an author, yes, and he's, uh, he's written actually two books, which really sounds like to me kind of came out of a need that was in his own life. Yes. Isn't that amazing how God can put strategies into place Absolutely. that work yes. even in the midst of your trouble? T tell us a little bit, brother, about what the Lord's doing. Yes, well, um, a couple years ago, actually, a few years ago, I was working for a company, and um, that company had a shift in transition, and we were eventually laid off. And in that situation, um, I was seeking God for direction, seeking God for help and guidance in that moment because I was trying to, you know, basically answer that question, what's next? What do you we know, do? What do I do from here? <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, and then in that moment, the Lord led me to... Um, take a small little trip and while there um, the Lord encouraged my heart to know that you know in this moment you'll have to speak yourself to the next place wow. and so and then I began to I ran back to my hotel room and started um, reading um, Proverbs 18 21 that says simply you know death and life is in the power of our tongue and yes. so and that really encouraged my heart to know that a lot of times we have to open our mouths and declare what his word says about us and so um, I started writing down different I am declarations for each day. And before I knew it, I mean, I was like, this is it's encouraging me so well, you know, I can't help but, you know, put it on paper. Maybe it'll encourage, encourage someone else as well in the same manner. And, and you know, in a matter of months or so, probably closer to about a year's time frame, I was able to complete it, get it published and whatnot, and, and then get it out. And it's been a blessing ever since then. Like, lives have been changed from it. Um, and that's really the the blessing from it, hearing the testimonies of those that have oh, read wow. it, and it's just made the difference in my and just my spiritual walk with God. You know, it's, of course we, you know, we want to please Him in our own way, but a lot of times just hearing how the works that He puts your hand to do has blessed others, it mm -hmm. makes it worthwhile, and it really it encourages you to keep on going further, because really a lot of times we we think we limit ourselves sometimes with you know what we can do. But we know, of course, with God, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And so a lot of times people put you in a box and they say, you know, oh, who are you to write a book or who are you to, you know, do something of that nature? And But when you put your trust in God and you hope in him and you talk to him daily, he is what his word says. He is our hope and glory. Yes, he is. And so he is what we affirm and what we find ourselves seeking after daily. And so it's been a it's been a blessing to me tremendously, mm -hmm. and I've been blessed by it. And and the first publication of it was actually released in 2016. 2016. And so okay. yeah, and so all of 2017, I started writing and working on the second one. Okay, so, so that was self declarations. Mm -hmm. That was volume one. Yes. Forty day devotional. Forty day devotional. So yes. so in that process, God began to birth in you, mm -hmm. and and change the whole strategies of your life yes. and put you in a new direction. Incredible. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sitting here thinking, and, and I don't know if we'll ever quite get this. The church needs to get this. Um, uh, Mark chapter 11, you can have what you say. Yes. And, yes, and, and the problem yes, is sir. we do. Right, right. <laughs> so, right. so for so many of us, we, we point our finger at God and, and life and mm -hmm. the devil. Yes. And in and, and realism, we brought so much on ourselves. Yes, yes. Um, mm -hmm. But changing the strategies of what we say mm -hmm. will change the way we think. Right, um, right. And 
basically changed the whole of what we are and even what we possess mm -hmm. and et cetera. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And all throughout scripture, you see different references where, you know, either God was speaking or he sent his servants to speak on his behalf. Yes. And I mean, you look at Moses he, and mm -hmm. Moses is like, you know, he's telling Moses, you know, I need you to go to Egypt and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Mm -hmm. And Moses is like, who, who should I say sent me? And he says, simply tell him, I am that I am. Wow. And, you know, even that I am affirms who he is. And, you know, and that I am let let Pharaoh know, essentially, hey, mm. this is this is the God above gods. You know, you know, you all serve, serve little mini gods, but he's the greatest God. And so and, and even that that I am affirmation is what stood out to me personally to, you know, to say what, you know, what God has said about me. Mm. And personally to say that about myself. And, you know, then the first one I talked about, I am saved. I am prayerful. Yes. Um, and, and different different declarations each day. And a lot of times we are our own worst critic. Like <laughs> we're our own worst enemy. Sometimes we talk ourselves out of things that, you know, mm. God purposely may have for us to be in. Mm. And there's some things that, you know, he wants us to keep our hand to the plow on that we gave up because we talked ourselves out of it. That's a fact. And, you know, but if we can keep, if we can talk ourselves out of it, we can also talk ourselves into it. Absolutely and true. And keep ourselves in the things that God has for us. So. You know, I, I think about this a lot. Um, you know, worship or is, is so that we understand God, mm -hmm. but more than that, we change our focus from us mm -hmm. to Him. Yes. You see, the problem is we, we take our stuff and our problems, and we make them bigger than God. Mm. God don't have an inferiority complex. Right. <laughs> he don't need me to tell him anything. Exactly. He just wants to change my focus. Right. And that's Absolutely. what you're doing here. Absolutely. Now, so now, secondly, mm -hmm. you you have now Self Declarations Volume Two. Yes. The sixty day devotional. Yes, sir. So an expansion. Yes. Sir. And gone even further, mm -hmm. and and even more incredible, I believe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about this. <laughs> Preferably. It does follow the same premise as the first one, so it does have the I am declarations each day. Um, it lifts different ones that, you know, speak to where we are as a culture as well, because we know, of course, we are in a time where social media drives life for many sure. of us, right. where, you know, people post selfies for likes, and that, <laughs> yeah. those likes are, you know, however many likes you get, that kind of validates some people. True. And to the point where they say, oh, this was a great one, you know, or, you know, it proves to them internally who they are. Yes. Um, but a lot of times, you know, we don't quickly turn back to God's word for what his word says about us. Right. And so even in um, one of the days within this, it simply says, I am bold, mm -hmm. you know, enough to say, you know, what God says about me. And it talks about it script throughout scripture. It speaks about having a boldness. Right. And so, and you know, even in that, that affirms us to know, you know, there's some things that we can, we'll purposely try to let fear grab us. And that's an internal thing. You know, God didn't give us a spirit of fear. And when we have we have fear trying to rest in us, that's just the internal thing that we have to say. No, I have I have a boldness. Yes. I have a holy boldness mm -hmm. to be able to speak to mountains, to be able to speak to opposition, to be able to stand in the face of adversaries and live. Oh man! And so yeah, it's yeah. you know even and one the last I close with I am the church in mm -hmm. this particular um, devotional because a lot of times we are the recip we are the recipients of you know God's grace and God's help and God's favor. But we're also his representatives and Absolutely. we are the voices and the faces that people associate God with. And mm -hmm. a lot of times and a lot of times if we carry ourselves in a manner that's less than his manner or his demeanor, then we do him a disservice. And, mm -hmm. you know, we make God look bad and we don't ever, ever, ever want to make him look bad. And so no. our desire should be to always make him look good Absolutely. and to always bring glory to his name and to just represent him and represent the church in such a way that, you know, you can't get mad at the building. You mm. can only get mad at those that are in the building, you know, because <laughs> we are the voices. We are the hands and the feet of God. So, yeah. Yes, that's where. Yes, you know, one, one thing I notice is depression. Mm -hmm. There's depression on mm -hmm. a, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you know, I don't, want to, I, don't, I don't want to be rude in any right. kind of way. But, right. But at the same time, I find myself sometimes saying to people, chin up. Right. Yeah. Put, put your mm -hmm. chin up. Yeah. It, enlighten your countenance, mm -hmm. you know, uh, change the focus mm -hmm. and, and begin to make new announcements. Right, right. And, that, and that's yes, what sir. you're doing yes, here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Teaching people. How, and and I'm, I'm sure there's uh, affirmations all through here mm -hmm. that, that do something that speak right to those kinds of yes, things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that, that's yes, sir. amazing. It is. That, and it's, it's powerful to me to, to know that 
that God will do these kinds of things. So basically, uh, a person gets this, they can get both these books mm -hmm. and just, it's a daily, it's a daily yes, journey for them. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, and speaking just quickly as what you mentioned just a moment ago about depression, that spirit, mm -hmm. it can creep on and live in us so quickly mm -hmm. that, you know, we won't know what happened or how it even came in. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the, one of the days that I spoke in this one is I am never alone. Oh, and that's good. in that, and we, it sp simply deals with, you know, when Moses died, and Joshua was the next in line, and God had to speak to Joshua in such a manner because yes. Joshua was the fighter. Oh yeah. Moses was the prophet and the priest. Mm -hmm. And so though he he had different roles, they had a different role from each other. Mm -hmm. But God had to elevate Joshua into that position to be that place mm -hmm. of Moses where Moses was. And he had to affirm him in a way. And he had yes, to he let did. him know essentially, as I was with Moses, so mm -hmm. shall I be with you. Oh, that's powerful. And so, and then he let him know that I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. And so, and I spoke about that and just kind of dealt with that passage mm -hmm. that, you know, a lot of times we get in little moments where we're operating and we're, we're existing to the best of our abilities. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we feel like either, either I'm, I'm doing this by myself mm -hmm. and that leads to that depression and that depressed state. Right. And a lot of times we have to, we have to daily wake up and say, you know, I'm not alone. I got That's up right. with power. I got up with boldness. I got, up, I got up with strength in my body. Let me use this strength to know that I have God enough. If God gave me another day, I'm going to use it to the best of my abilities. I'm not going to live in a depre depressed place, and exactly. I'm going to press forward toward the mark. And so, yes, absolutely. You know, that is amazing. We become, sometimes we become experts mm -hmm. on how to cover up yes. what we really yes. feel. Yes. Um, I like what you said about Joshua. I was just thinking about him earlier, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. And as we were talking, he came to my mind because I love what the scripture says. The Lord said, be strong. Yes. And of a good yeah. courage. And, mm -hmm. and I believe it was more than just an instruction. Right. I also believe it was a deposit. Yes. Because the spirit of the Lord had to do something in him. Mm -hmm. And that's what the word always does. And that's mm -hmm. what these kinds of things do. Yes, it's sir. actually, a, it's not just a, an affirmation. It's not just something that you say. Mm -hmm. I think that's where a lot of people get lost in the process. They say, well, I, I'm not going, if I don't, if I'm not well, I'm not going to say I'm well, if I'm sick, I'm sick, you know. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but you know, um, mm -hmm. see, the powerful thing about this, it, it literally brings endorphins mm -hmm. into the body. Yes. That, 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 that challenges us yes. to the change. Yeah, Amen. absolutely, absolutely. So, I love it. Now, now you got a book signing coming up. We got to, I do. do you talk about I do. this? I do, I do. I'm excited about it. Um, April, this Saturday, April the 7th, okay. having a book signing at the church um, where I serve, Long Branch Baptist Church. Um, one of the associate ministers there and Pastor Sean Dogan is our leader there. And certainly I'm thankful for his leadership and instruction and wisdom as well. But April the 7th at 6 p.m. at Long Branch here in Greenville, um, I will be there and we'll be signing copies. You'll hear a little bit more of my heart about how it came to pass. And I'm, I'm, I sing as well. So like, awesome. so we'll be do, throwing a little music in there as well. Not too much, but just enough. And then I'll be signing copies as well. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. It's exciting. Long Branch. Where's Long Branch at? It's located um, just near the Augusta Road area downtown um, I'm in the Sullivan Street area mm -hmm. um, in Greenville. Yes. Sir. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sure that there's some information that people can can get in touch with yes, you sir. or find out, you know, how to get there. Yes, sir. Absolutely. GPS is a wonderful thing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh, sir. So my goodness, I, I tell you, it's, it's awesome what the Lord is doing. Yes, sir. Uh, isn't it amazing what He'll do when you make yourself available? It is. It is. It, it wonders. It's even wonderful. the even the accept, accepting the challenge of what mm -hmm. life really is. Right. You know, life ain't no gravy train. You know, right. yes, <laughs> that sir. might be an old saying, but yeah. it's, but it's life, true. It's true. Life is tough mm -hmm. uh, in many cases, and it demands some things out of us, doesn't mm -hmm. it? It does. It does. And the weight of the world can a lot of times weigh us down heavy. And a lot of times if we if we get that, you know, on us in such a strong manner, we we limit ourselves a lot of times and we limit the, you know, the parameters of where God is trying to take us. And so and a lot of times, you know, God uses what we experience to bless us in the long run. And, you know, the scripture where it's, it talks about in Romans where all things work together for the good of them mm -hmm. who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. A lot of times we had to go through the bad. Mm -hmm. We had to go through the good and we had to experience all of it because yeah. in order to appreciate where we are, 
a lot of times we have to have that reflection to say, you know what, Lord, I had to face that pain. Yes. I had to face that issue because had I not, I would not be as strong as I am now. I would not know what I know now. And so right. it's it's a process. A lot of times we look further down the road and we're like, I've come a long way than where I started from. Wow. You know, it Absolutely. was God. It was it had to be God with me. And it, so, isn't it awesome yeah. to put distance between those yes. places too? Isn't that yes. awesome? Yes, sir. Never want, it's like, you know, I've heard a story of, of an eagle that once it comes out of the valley of depression, it'll mm. never go back. Dear. Wow. Yeah. It'll always stay away. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I uh, thought about David where the Bible says he encouraged himself in the yes. Lord. That's what you're yes, teaching mm -hmm. people to do. Uh, and then then I have to make reference to Elijah lays down under the juniper tree. Yes, sir. He says, it is enough now, oh God, let me die. Mm -hmm. We must be talking to somebody tonight. Right. But, yes, but the angel come by and said, get right. up, dummy. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little strong, but sometimes yes, that's what that's we truth. need, isn't it? Yes, sir. But uh, thank you so much. Blessings yes, on you and your appreciation. Yes, yes, sir. Thank yes, you. The blessing of the Lord rests on you. Yes, Looking for great success and good testimonies yes, sir. of the Lord's goodness Absolutely. Uh, for the book signing. Come on out uh, and, and come out here. Minister Darrell Dean wants yes, to sir. meet you. Yes, sir. And he wants to sign the book and talk to you and encourage you. All right. Yes, Bless sir. you, sir. Bless you. Appointed is singing. It must be love. Praise the Lord. So thankful that God loves us. And this song is an expression of that love. Why would you, the God of greatness, simply love someone like me? And how could you, so pure and perfect, know my faults? Yet meet my needs I'll never know or understand Just what you see in me My mind is amazed To think your plan Includes me for eternity be loved. It must be love. In spite of who I am, you still came to where I was. Although my life is torn and scarred, there's room for me inside your heart. But this one, it must be love. Hallelujah. Just go on and worship him. You keep turning my curses into blessings. That's your love and nothing else. Forgiving my sins and then forgetting. That's your love and nothing less. If I could give my everything, it wouldn't be enough for every good and perfect gift is more than I can find no other reason but this one. It must be love. Ooh. 
Thank you, Father. Just give him your praise right now and worship him. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Hallelujah. Just been so blessed by our guests tonight and, and singers out and just enjoying the presence of the Lord. But these are your needs, and and I want to pray, and I would love for you to to join your faith with mine as we're praying over these needs, because I believe the Bible is clear. It says, "Or any two shall agree," and I know you must have faith, or you would not have taken the time to call in. So tonight, Father, we ask in Jesus' name that you'll minister to every one of these needs, that every single person will, will see a miracle from your hand, that you'll turn things as only you can. We send the word to every condition, every, every problem, every issue, uh, Father, and we're looking for your answers to be uh, released into every family, every person. In Jesus' name we pray it. Amen. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this program. And we're glad that, that you're, you're here and participating with TV16. I know that you enjoy it or you wouldn't be a part. And we're just very thankful for all the good things that are happening right here for, for all the hosts and the prayer partners and all these people who are laboring so much uh, behind the scenes. You'd be amazed the work that goes into this program for it to happen to minister to you. And um, for the anointing, the Spirit of the Lord, the presence of the Lord to come into your home. And, and, and God, I believe, is pleased with what is happening right here in this place. Uh, again, looking for blessing, the favor, the, the miracle of the Lord to rest over your life and over your family. And you, you be blessed in the days ahead and, and protected and guarded. Thank you so much again for being a part of this program. We love you. Good night.